with beer. Hey, podcast kittens, it's Kathy Cat and... Ah, Lady Bear coming at you with yet another wheel spinning edition of Cat with Beer. Today, Kathy Cat. Oh, we have very, very special guests today. Oh, Our yes. studio is actually the most colorful mm-hmm. I have ever seen mm-hmm. in all of our 74 episodes here <laughs> because there's a special guest here. Can I have the idol introduction from you guys so we know exactly who you guys are? Mari des, Suzu des, Baby Biro des, Watashashwa, Se no, Baby Biro des! Yoroshiko Yes! Baby Ladies and gentlemen, this is my idol group, the Baby Beard. We've got Suzu, and we've got Marty, and we've got Lady Beard, they're babies. Sorry, <laughs> I'm Lady Beard, babies plus Lady Beard equals Baby Beard. It's the greatest kind of metal group in the history of all mankind. Gally Cat, your um, ears suffer tremendously doing this show. Yeah, it's remarkable. actually, I, I, did, I did go to the, the ear doctor and I said, I there's certain hearing I have really? lost now during the duration oh, okay, of this I'm so really? sorry. <laughs> I know Sabia chan wa no koi wa so okay this. Yes, you have a very, very strong voice. Ah, so, uh, but we're so. used to it because we hear it every yeah, day. Right in the middle of me every time, that's right. Yeah, but I always hear it on the same ear, so it's oh, kind of true. affected the same ear after a while. Poor girl. But I am so glad to have <laughs> the whole <laughs> team together in the studio the today. We talk about the group every single episode, and exactly. now the group is here. Now you finally yeah. actually get after to see 74 episodes. <laughs> yeah, and now they're here, and they're all in their cool new outfits, which yes. I absolutely yes. love. They give me you Sailor Moon vibes, and I'm a big Sailor Moon fan. So. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cute. Okay, who are... Baby beard. Yosh, still a little bit of member shokai. Suzu chan. Hi. Ma, ma, ma. Shoto suzu no jiko shokai kudasai. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Suzu. My member color is green. Yay! Yay! I love teddy bear, cinnamon roll, and watching movies. Please look forward to the future activities of baby beard with lady beard. That new member, Mali, and me. Oh, yes, yes, good. Yeah. That was very good. Oh, oh, I'm doing so Oh, my good. gosh. I want to cuddle her. Kawaii so desu. Suzu is really kawaii desu. Mecha kawaii jan. It's very, yeah. very cute. Suzu is wonderful. So Suzu is uh, currently along with me, the oldest members of Baby Beard. When I say oldest, I mean have been in the group for the longest. <laughs> Suzu is my senpai desu. Yes. Dai senpai. Senpai, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so Suzu, of course, was uh, when we founded the group back in 2020. Uh, Suzu was from our first ever round of auditions. Suzu was the first person who ever walked through the door in the audition. And Ooh, then, first yeah, no person joke. and first still here. ever, and she's okay. still here, kicking asses everywhere yeah, she goes. Shining like a star. Yeah. So that's just one more. Sunnen gurai ishoni baby beardo yarimashita ne. Three years. Ma, mo kaigai ni ikimashita. Nihon de live show mashita. Kaigai de live show mashita. Ma imama de baby beardo wa doyesu ka Suzu. How do you like your experience then? Live. Mm. Yeah, she enjoys the live <laughs> <laughs> performance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, doing the shows, honestly, doing the shows is the best part of this freaking job completely, so makes sense. Now, Suzu um, does a very good job on stage, and that's her favorite part of the job. Now, mm. if you guys think idols, I'm going to put that in here. If you guys think idols, you usually think of like cute girls on stage going kink yun, moi moi, kink yun, jumping around a little bit, and then that's it. But I think Baby Beard is very unique in mm. that you have a a different spin on the idol mm. genre. We're the only lady beard having group. That that mm. that is one of them. Mm-hmm. And it has it mixes I think a cute Japanese aesthetic mm-hmm. together with a Western metal screamer mm-hmm. aesthetic, so which I have never seen before. Mm, it was good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It was good. Very good. It's a fun aesthetic. Exactly. Um, so I just as well. I mama de dono kuni de live yatte kono ni masu ka. Brazil, Brazil, Austria, yeah, Austria. and uh, Chile. Chile, Switzerland. Switzerland, mm. that's right. Good. Okay. So, oh, so, so, I know. So, Kaiga no live wa do this guy. How do you find? Ask, how do you like the overseas? foreign shows? Mm. <laughs> is, there, is there a difference? Do you come today? Kaiga no live to Nihon no live. Compare to Kaiga no live, what is the difference? Is it different to perform in Japan or to perform abroad? Ah. Uh, Kai overseas mm. watching more people. Yeah. Oh. More people. <laughs> uh, cover. Uh. Uh. 
they shout more? Yes, yes. Japanese? Mm. Quiet. Auntie, mother. What? Nihon uh, mother. Oh, mother. Japanese murder. Japanese, Japanese murder? murder? <laughs> Japanese murder, please. There's been no murder Japanese associated murder. with this group so far. It's a public service <laughs> announcement. <laughs> Baby Pete <laughs> does not support murder. But Nihon mother, please. Nihon mother, please. Nihon mother, please. Ah, ah. Mm. I think they're very shy about shouting in Japanese mm-hmm. live, mm. like audience. Mm. But mm. the foreign people, they don't hesitate to mm. shout and enjoy the scream show, and shout. Yeah. And yeah, if they love something, they love something. We may so know. when we started the group, I've told this story before on the podcast, but I'll tell it again because we mm, started in the middle of COVID nineteen. Oh, when we God, did our yeah. shows here, um, our audience was socially distanced, everyone had mm. masks, and it was just a bunch of mannequins. They weren't allowed to do anything. And did they have those signs that said, do not cheer with your mouth, yes. cheer with your heart? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 I've yeah. seen that yeah. a lot. I know, the first day was Corona Chew, and the guests were... Mask, everyone. Mask, everyone. And everyone was socially distanced. Corona Chew, socially distanced. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I know. And then the first time we were overseas was Brazil, and they didn't care about COVID over there at all. So before we've ever made it to the stage, we're just going bananas. We're backstage, and like as soon as anything was said about Baby Beard or whatever, everyone goes bananas. I see on the girls' faces, they go, Oh, it's just such That's a different how experience. It's supposed to be. Yeah, Completely different, different, different from Japan. Vastly you different. live of the reaction of the yeah. audience, Japan's especially because it. you directly interact with them. 100%. True. Japan's getting it back together now in the post COVID era, but it's good. Like, God, especially compared with Latin America. It's got mm. nothing. nothing on <laughs> you know, I know, ma, Kaiga no Live World Door, Tanoji. Kaiga no Fans World Door. Japanese fan is. Overseas mm. fans is dancing. Oh, oh no, no, yes, no, no. good point. Yeah, yes, good we, point. we people, they, if we like something, we dance along. Mm. Yeah. Sure they enjoy with us. Mm. Yeah. Very much so. I was gonna, I was gonna ask. Uh, has has none of your eardrums popped yet? Working with Lady Bird, <laughs> Mama, uh, Mimi, Daijobu. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, no, okay, no, no problem. problem. Yes, yes. Yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's not a condition. small, closed environment, but more open stages. That with Sus, real voice Sus is a good girl. She knows the correct things to say <laughs> when sitting next no, to me. No, my ear girl. is popped. No, we are educated like that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> not Kathy. Kathy doesn't care at all. Because poor Kathy ruined her ears. <laughs> poor Kathy's ears. Um, how and why did you join Lady Beard oh. or Baby, Baby Beard. Beard now? Because I like idols. Mm-hmm. And respect them. For example, AKB48, mm-hmm. Nogizaka46, and Blackpink. Oh, yes, many more. She even went to Blackpink's live in Korea yeah. oh. recently, oh. right? Osaka. Osaka. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. Sure, you're a big fan of big idols. Fan. Yourself, went to a different then. city to see an idol group. Very impressive. Yeah. So, first a big fan, and now you wanted to become an idol yourself. Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, what do you remember the most about working with Baby Beard? Just be honest. I see her look at my face and say to herself, how do I not offend him? How do I not get fired? Be honest, there must be some, there must be some stories there. Okay, she has no answers to <laughs> that. Poor girl. poor girl, she has no way to not get fired answering this question. The poor girl. Should we move on? Should we move on? The poor girl. The poor girl. What What was like uh, one of your favorite performances? Oh, like the songs? Or, or like maybe a favorite show you've done so far, oh, like where you really had fun. My first overseas live, perform, live performance in Brazil. Mm. Mm. It's very mm-hmm. different. Yeah, I can imagine it must have been very different mm-hmm. from Japan, like you mentioned <laughs> earlier. Susan yes, was very sweet. It's the first time she'd ever had a receptive audience in her idol career. 
Oh. Uh, first time ever, the poor girl. She was very beautiful. She didn't want to leave the stage at the end of the show. She was having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, 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 yes, yes, that's the way, that's the way. All right, um, Lady Bird, I'm going to talk about you in a moment. Oh! But before that, <laughs> yeah. before that, I would like to... Hold on, I have so many papers here That's right, right now. So do I. It's a paper you, solution. You have a new member. We got a new member, ladies and gentlemen. And yes. we have her on the show yes. here right now. Yes, the and official Mari. debut of a public skill thingamajig, I mm. believe. This is our new member, Mari. Yay! 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 So please introduce yourself. Oh, yes, thank you. Um, My name is Mari. Yeah, I guess, it, yeah, my name is Mari, and my member color is blue, to mm-hmm. blue. And I used to be in a different idol group for two and a half years, and then I had an audition for this baby beard um, joining. Mm-hmm. And I was so nervous because I knew about Bia Chan, Lady Beard, and I was so nervous. I practiced dance and songs, and well, they welcomed me, so I am so excited to be part of this team and also to see fans all over the seas. Mm. I'm so excited. Mm, congratulations answer, for winning the good audition. Answer. Good answer. Mari was very good at her audition. Mari um, kind of confirmed her ability to come to the audition last mm. minute. Mm-hmm. So therefore, overnight, basically, she remembered the song of the dance. Wow. She came in saying, I don't remember the song of the dance very well. And we're like, all right, let's see it. <laughs> Nails it. Whole oh. thing's perfect. We're like, all right, well, all right. If this is you at your worst, then your best is going to be very good. Well, they were so nice to me, like cheering and, you know, giving some good comments about me. I'm going to ask right at the start because mm-hmm. I'm sure our listeners will wonder now why your English is so good. Oh. So it's a really good fit. I can see it's a really good fit because it's like Japanese but also international mm. group. Yeah. So why is your English so good? Tell okay. us a bit. Okay. Uh, well, I used to live in Panama, Thailand, and Australia, and I went to local school in Australia. But the reason why I lost my Australian accent is because I went to international school in Thailand, and I graduated high school over there, and I came back for university. That's why I can speak a little bit of English. And you went not just to a university, you went to a really prestigious oh. university. <laughs> oh. I heard. Yeah. And you have just literally joined in August. Yeah. Yeah, you've been in the group for two weeks or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this wow. is my first job. Wow. Yeah, so Fantastic. first time actually, apart other than rehearsal, this is the first time publicly yep. doing a baby beard thing. Hey. Fantastic. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. We're bringing you all the exclusives here on Cat with Beard, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Like this is the real thing. Exclusive. This wow. is the real thing. In the scissor. <laughs> nah. I nah. It's the, the real fight. thing. Ishonita, it's the real thing. <laughs> it's the real thing. thing. Yes, exactly right. The real thing. <laughs> So this is out oh, of control. Fantastic. This is good. Um, so, so Mari, uh, can you tell us the ages that what you were in these various countries that you grew up in, please? Oh, okay. Um, well, I was born in Japan, Kanagawa, okay. in the Yokohama city. Okay. But then I moved to Panama when I was in kindergarten. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then I came back to Japan for a year or so, and then I went to Thailand and then I went to Australia for middle school and I went to high school in Thailand and then I came back. So th- wow. this is quite the global trajectory, isn't oh, yeah. it? It's not The standard kind of story is I was born in Japan, but then my parents moved to the US and we lived there for 10 years, then we came back. So mm, why did you do all this jiggity jaggity all oh, over the world? Yeah, I was curious about My dad's that. job. <laughs> oh, okay, really? You yeah. just like followed him wherever he yeah. was going? Yeah. Okay. So how did you know about Baby beard or lady beard? How did you know about them? I found it on Twitter, and they were, <laughs> <laughs> they were, you know, having the audition, and because the previous member was about to graduate, mm. the member, and then um, uh, I liked being idle, but also I wanted to perform overseas more, but I didn't get a chance. Well, not many Japanese idols group perform abroad, overseas, abroad, yeah, yeah, abroad. But this group was focusing on, you know, just performing overseas. Mm. And I just instantly thought like, oh, that's this 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 job is for me. Mm. And yeah. Perfect. Worked Good out very well. Thanks and you to know Twitter. What? Yeah. Our very <laughs> first um oh, our first announced overseas show with Mari, which has already been announced, so I assume I could talk about it. Mm. 
We're going to Thailand. <laughs> We're going to Mari's hometown. Yeah. It's worked out perfectly. There's a match yeah. made in heaven. Yeah. Also, like you've been to Australia. Yeah. It kind of all yeah. ties in together. Well, it was my. It's been my dream to um, perform in front of my parents because they still live in Thailand, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to um, show what I've got, what I've learned from being an idol. And it's, it will be a great opportunity for me to perform in Thailand, my Ooh. hometown. Nice. So, hang on, so your mum and dad never came to Japan and saw you on stage with your previous uh, group? Once right? for once. my birthday event. Oh, that's nice. But so, then, yeah. Sorry, does that mean you moved back to Japan all by yourself? Yeah. Oh. I've got no family, but they're my family. Jora, that's right. <laughs> Wow, okay. Yeah. Your family ah, family yes. Yeah, Family Dijon. Yeah. Family Dijon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's well. very impressive. Sorry, at what age did you move back to Japan alone? Uh, 19, when I pretty got impressive. into wow, university. That is, it's pretty very impressive. impressive. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Okay, what I'd like to do is like ask a question and all of you answer it in your own ways. Okay. Okay, so That's I, ask, I want to ask you very <laughs> idly. <laughs> question. Uh, also, also, before I forget, at the end, I have some very, very German sour candy oh, that no. I'm going to punish you guys with oh, no. in punish the best us. way possible. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a, a, a fun little game to see. Oh, here candy. comes the sour candy hunts. Very <laughs> sour. Deutsch, Deutsch sour candy is gift the sour candy. <laughs> yes, that's going to happen too. But I'm going to ask some uh, idolish questions nah, to all of you. Hey. So hey. what is your appeal point? Oh. 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 My appeal point? What is your appeal point? My appeal point? High tone voice. Ah. Shining smile. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. That is the yeah. answer. That's a beautiful so smile. Look at Susan's mm, smile. Yeah. That's what won her the audition in the first place. <laughs> she came into the room, first person through the door. <laughs> Big smile. It was so nice. It was lovely. <laughs> she came in. I'm like, ah, we're using her. She was wonderful. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. What a good girl. Oh, fantastic. She's good lady. answer. Good answer. Thank you. What is your charm point? Um, I've been thinking about it, but <laughs> I am not sure what my appeal point said. What do you guys think <laughs> about mine? What's that? No, Marie, no charm point, or what? Marie, go shit, go say no. What got on that? Internationalized, <laughs> able to communicate with a wide. A Slab of fans in mm. various languages. Mm. Nah. Yeah, I think small, it's like... which is good. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> small, agile. Yeah. Remembers the dances quickly, which is really helpful. Okay. <laughs> There's oh, a lot of charm um, points there. People tell me I look like Quokka. Quokka Wallaby. Uh, do you know How what do you what say it in English? What's it? No. Quokka, you know, double it's a stutter. Quokka stutter. Yeah. A stutter. Australia. Oh, Australia, Australia, right? Oh. Yeah, I look like <laughs> like quok. <laughs> oh, you mean those those things that look like teddy bears? Oh, I, like it's a weird teddy bears. Wom wombat oh. looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have like they look like a cute teddy bear. Like, no, 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 it's like tiny it, wombat, like it's just little... in between kangaroo and like. Quokka, We're gonna like... have to bring up an image of a yeah, quok. Yeah. Oh yeah, please, speak. please edit oh, that's to your quok image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if you search in Google, they'll show you the picture like. Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, yes, I know this photo, yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> so we got a couple of charm points together. That <gasps> is the greatest comparison I've ever heard, by the way. You look like a quok. I will have to Google this now ASAP. Seriously, I, I can't. Lady Beard looks like a bored koala just... <sighs> oh, yeah. It's holding on to no, life no. like a gum tree. Oh. <laughs> okay. Lady Bit, what's your charm point? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Right. I don't know. Lady Bit, the not charm point, though. There's a lot. Like, oh, bless loud voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then the cute twin tails, um, right? It, it fits you. Well, not bless many you. people sit well, with this. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, thank you, Mario. That's very sweet. It's very kind then, of you. Charm point, though. Oh, uh, it, it's not about charm point. Handsome beard. Ah, oh, yes. High five, Susan. Handsome High five. beard, Correct for sure. Answer. Good answer, Susan. That's a good, good one. Answer. Good answer. Mm. Good job, Susan. <laughs> Very like good. It. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next question for all three of you. Or what was your first impression oh. of Lady Beard? <laughs> Lady Beard, the first time you met her, what was your first impression? The first impression. Oh, okay. For me, when I first saw a picture on Twitter, I was so scared, firstly, <laughs> because he's huge mm. and he's so muscular yeah. and he has beers with the yeah, Do it. Do it unique, tails? yeah mm -hmm. hairstyle. I was pretty scared. You said, what a freak. 
That was your kind response. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But when I actually went to、um, see him and audition, he was so nice. Like,、okay. good, so good. different the inside、oh, <laughs> appearance.、Good. Excellent. Good. Yeah. This is a good review. This is a good, good review, review of the、Thank、lady. Thank you, Bert. You agree? He's、um, always supportive. Know, yep. 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 It's very kind. Thank, Thank you, so you Mario. My pleasure. Thank you. Do you、I、get the? You look、that. scary a lot. Oh, look! Listen. Never got that.、Listen. Just adorable. I heard adorable、What? a lot. Listen. That's a lie. Lady Beard's life is a whirlwind of descriptions and adjectives. <laughs> I don't know what's going <laughs> on anymore. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Okay. Every day is as confusing as the one before it. Yeah. Not sure But hey, colorful for sure. Colorful, Very colorful for sure. Yeah. Suzy, <laughs> あの最初のあった印象は？うん。ずっと、ずっとこのテンションなんだな。Always、um, keeping up his mood like high tension. Yeah. Very, very energetic and in、yeah. high spirits all the time. Powerful. Oh. The, all the time, like even his resting. Right? Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a gif out of Susan doing that. That's true. I love it. Send us a line stamp to people. Oh. 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 What was your、it. first impression of both of the girls? Um. Well, like I said, when Susan entered the audition room.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> this beautiful <laughs> smile. I was like, ah,、oh, that's lovely. That's what. Because actually, a lot of idols can't smile. Oh, it's、right. very interesting.、What? A lot of I find a lot of idols come in and they're like, <laughs> really? Yeah, たくさんアイドルは笑顔できない本当にそして来てなんか真面目。Yeah. そしてオーディション中さ大きい笑顔してください。Mm. 皆さんはなんか<laughs> かなんかせ。Really? Well, yeah. People can't smile. <laughs> Or like, こっちは一番大きい笑顔 like, you know? It's so strange. I mean, isn't、really? a smile like super important as an idol, though? You would、yeah. think so, but I think also in Japan, you guys are not really encouraged、mm. to show your teeth a whole lot. Ah,、right? that's true. Yeah. Yeah. 確かに歯見せて笑うの日本のアイドル少ないよね。Oh. Mm. Why are Japanese idols not to show <laughs> supposed to show their teeth? Yeah. なんでだ。なんでどうとも。Hmm. I don't know. That was an interesting know, one. That was the most appealing of part、that. of Suzu when she walked in. A big old smile. Big smile? Okay,、yeah, that was Suzu's、lovely. first、mm. impression. What's your first impression? When Mari came in, Mari came into the audition room. And、um, so, first things first, she comes in. Instantly, we're like, she's the right size, good. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Because the thing is, you gotta, we need two of them. They've got to match each other.、Mm, you know?、yeah. like、we need someone who's going to be able to work with Suzu and work with me. We, we have、know? the exact same height. Exact, which is、mm. wonderful, right?、Mm. Um, She came in, so I'm like, excellent. So that's kind of the first required box ticked.、Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the next candidate after Mari, if Mari hadn't been able to do it, it would have been a case of that girl was much taller than Suzu,、mm-hmm. so Suzu would have had to wear big shoes、mm-hmm. the、oh, whole time.、Mm-hmm. But how are you going to dance and jump around with Oof, big old platforms? Yeah, like, that's it would have been really hard for Suzu, right?、Mm-hmm. So, so first things first. <sighs> cool. <laughs> Just the right height. So she came in. She's like, I haven't had you know very much time to work on the song or the dance. So you know, I'm sorry if I disappoint you. She was awesome. We were like, <laughs> go awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Happy days. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah.、Um, next test we got to go through. Can you actually do this from a logistics and a schedule standpoint?、Mm. Is it all going to work? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, goodness. Excellent. We're very, very, we're thrilled to have Mari in. Mari came in, little ray of sunshine. She's like, ah, comes in, does the dance, lots of energy and so forth, which is wonderful. Sang the song. The noise actually came out of her mouth again. Most <laughs> idols, it doesn't. Most idols, you're like, sing this. This is an idol singing a song a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Idols, kind of true, yeah. Idols sing backwards.、Uh, They don't sing outwards.、Uh, Samani、so mm. sings the song. Noise actually exits her mouth. We're、uh, like, good. This, this clearly, this girl's the winner. It was very good. It was very yeah, good. Yeah, that's so you took it away. And then also she's banging on in English and is like, like speak some Thai. Cut, 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 cut. We're like, cool. <laughs> this one, awesome. It's very good. Perfect.、Mm. Okay. On top of that, she's adorable. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank Just、okay. to top it all off. Okay, I got I got another question for all of、yeah. you. 自分にとってアイドルって何ですか What does <gasps> idol mean to you? Being an idol mean to you, or just generally, what do you think idols are for you?、Mm. To you,、um, the reason why I became an idol was because、um, I, you know, like I lived abroad for a long time, and when I come back came back to Japan, I didn't know much about Japanese culture, and the first thing, first thought. About Japanese culture, I thought it was idol, 
and I wanted to learn more about Japanese culture as Japanese. And I thought, um, oh, it's so interesting if I deliver the Japanese culture more overseas.、Mm. And then、um, I just wanted to be Japanese. <laughs> and then I think、uh, not many people know much about Japanese culture. It's because Japanese usually.、Um, Hesitant to you know, show what they have, what we have. Oh, like honne and tatemai, your、oh, real yeah, feelings yeah, yeah. and the feelings that you just show for politeness. Yeah. So I, I thought I should be the one to do it. That's、oh, excellent.、Right. So、it? you wanted to connect more with Japanese culture in a way? Yeah. With your roots?、Mm-hmm. Do you feel un Japanese in Japan? Like coming back, did you have c u l t u r e s h o c k Oh, shock yeah, 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 of course. I、really? did. I did. I did.、Really? A lot. Really? Actually,、um, you, please, please elaborate.、Um, for example, if I tell people what I really think, then they, they'll leave. <laughs> say, that's, yeah, that's, a bad that's a bit too direct. Yeah. Yeah. Especially、But、if you've just met them.、Yeah. I wouldn't be able to survive overseas if I didn't express、yes. my opinions.、Mm-hmm. And that's、yeah. very different when I、um, started living in、um, you know, like、Australia, for example. They. Wanted my opinions,、mm-hmm. and if I don't speak out, then they'll be like, I don't know what you know, Mari is thinking,、yeah. and then you know, they、yes. leave me out. And that's that was opposite in Japan, so I was pretty, you know, it's it was hard for me to get used to it. I think you come from like the two extremes.、Uh, I learned it once before that, for example, in companies,、mm-hmm. the most hierarchical, strict is Japan, and the least、um, hierarchic- hierarchical, strict、oh. is Australia. So,、mm-hmm. I, I assume that also reflects on different other cultural aspects. So, you come from two extremes、yeah. and you're trying to combine them right now. Compared with Thailand, I don't know all that much about Thai culture. So, like going to school in Thailand and whatnot. Oh, Thailand, they are very、um, pretty spoiled. Spoiled? S- yeah. In what aspect? For example,、um, they are not strict with the time because、um, always the bus and the train they don't come on time,、oh, okay. for example.、Mm-hmm. And also,、um, Thai people. Well, the international school I went, they were really、um, rich Thai people.、Okay. And rich Thai people tend to、uh, make their kids want to learn English.、Okay. So、mm-hmm. that's why they send them to international, them school. To international school. But they're, they're so spoiled because they get what they want all the time. And then all the parents, they、um, I don't know, drop off kids、right. at school. and... Just, yeah, so different because I was educated really strict because it's a Japanese、ah, you know, environment. Yeah.、Oh, mm. So, but hang on, but that's, but that's a reflection on like your school in Thailand、yeah. as opposed to the entire yeah, yeah. country. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you just went to school with a lot of spoiled kids, probably. Wow. Yeah, well, the,、um, the way they raised kids. Really? It's pretty different from Japanese. and... Okay. It's funny because you say、right. like, the buses don't run on time, and I'm like, that sounds like the opposite of being、oh, spoiled. That sounds, yeah, that sounds, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That sounds, like, sounds like Europe. <laughs> buses not running sounds like Europe. And Australia, yeah. 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 All right. Let me wind that back up because we are going to ask now Suzu, Suzu. What, what does being an idol mean to you? What, does, what do idols mean to you? 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 Well, she is very, she gets energy from looking at idols,、yeah. idols, and she also wants to give them, give the audience the, you know, energetic.、Mm. Yeah, a lot of people、yeah. say that idols motivate them, or then、mm. idols help them to get through their day because just seeing them gives them some positive emotions, and they're just like,、oh, okay, they're trying hard, I'll try my best too. For example, who will see them? Black pink. Black pink yes, gives black that pink. energy to you? Yes. Who do you like? Jenny. Jenny、yeah. Chan is good. Jenny is good. Jenny, <laughs> Jenny、yeah. from Black Pink.、Yeah. Okay.、Um, yeah, Suzu has a lot of respect for Jenny.、Mm-hmm. She has a lot of Jenny respect stuff on her Instagram and whatnot. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. I, I saw the same hairstyle. That's so nice. Yeah. yeah.、Oh. Jenny Chan is the same color as Jenny. Yeah. Mari is Black Pink. No, that's good. Oh, Rosie. Rosie. Me too! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Yes! So, Rosie Chan from Australia. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Ladybird! 
What does being an idol mean to you? When I got to Japan, I didn't know what an idol was. Oh. I was coming to be a pro wrestler and a funny heavy metal singer. Mm. And I got told, well, you're an idol now. And I was like, all right. What, what does that mean? mean? <laughs> so now I've had a 10-year-long journey of discovery. Mm-hmm. Um... Because uh, well, I had seen idols before I got to Japan, but mm. I thought they were just Japanese pop stars. Mm. So I didn't. Mm. The whole idol thing of the community and the relationship between the idol and the fan Close base, six. I didn't know about any of this, right? Mm. Really. Um, so it has been a, a remarkable journey of discovery. For me, uh, I think uh, idols are a fantasy with which uh, the audience can, um, like Susan said, power charge so they can get energy with which they can, um, you know, improve their lives and also endure the stresses of their own lives. And I think um, mm-hmm. one of the really beautiful things about idols and idol culture is there's the performance and there's the performer and the idol and then there's human beings. So it's kind of it's separated and so therefore what the performer is and then what a human being is are two things that are totally separated and it allows people to live completely within the fantasy of the world of the idol and that is something very beautiful as long as the magic remains unbroken. In pro wrestling, we call that kayfabe. Mm-hmm. Uh, so kayfabe is maintaining the fantasy, right? So if you break kayfabe, then a pro wrestler's normal life has leaked into their work life. Oh. And what I love about idols, I think if you manage to maintain the kayfabe, um, then it really does present a level of uh, magic uh, to fans, which is honestly pretty difficult to attain in a lot of other places. Ooh, I mm. like that. That's a very sophisticated answer. Lady Beard's mm. academic, Kathy Cat. Academic. Hey, hey Lady Beard went academism. to Waseda University as well. Look at me. Hey, <laughs> hey. Waseda Dai Gaku Nita. Ne, Susan. Yeah, ne, yes. Ne, taihen shi sumon kite. Taihen shi sumon kite. Dodo. How does your hair grow faster? Tahensugi.Alright,alright.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.Tibunitote.T
got another chair with her feet up on it. And then she has a third chair on which she has brought all her candy from Japan. And it's splayed out in front of her in a display so that she can sit with her feet up, looking at her candy, going, yeah, rock star. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So I'm so alive. Alive. <laughs> From that moment on, Princess Scissor was known as Princess Scissor. <laughs> clearly, she's running the place, as you can see. So I'm so alive, Scissor. That's crazy. That's crazy. Only now, now, two years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. So in Japan, uh, they call it generally like cool Japan culture. Mm. I, I hope they don't call it that anymore because it never ca- caught on. Um, abroad, it's more like kawaii culture, right? Yeah. Mm. So your type of kawaii culture right now. Why do you think kawaii culture is so popular abroad? Idols and everything kawaii or cinnamon roll, Sanrio characters. Mm. Why do you think kawaii things are so popular abroad? I think it's uh, an instant gratification um emotional sugar hit of uh, content and existence which we don't have in the same way in the Western world. Well, first of all, they don't have that culture. Mm. Well, for example, um, I think being cool and sexy, that's hot in... That's Medi- valued yeah, in the Western, yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. In Western world. Yeah, But being cute, they don't... Uh, really value that mm. much. As, 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 I think especially for females in the Western world, mm. they get to their 12, 13 age and they want to grow out of being cute. Mm. They want to be all badass. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Mum yes. and dad. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, when I was in Australia, I had bangs mm. and no one was interested in me. <laughs> really? Because yeah, you yeah, had because, bangs? Yeah. That seems like a superficial reason. Yeah, well, because... um. They like uh, hot. Oh, sorry. Oh, they the, want the, the sexy uh, girls. Mm. So that's very different from Japan, Japanese culture. Well, Japan loves the guys loves bangs yeah. and they're, like cute. Face. But also, I mean, in Japan, like women into their fifties are still trying to look cute and oh, be as adorable as possible. Different. And it's accepted. It's accepted. part think, of the culture, you know. Yeah, I think in Germany, you get told to grow out of any right. kind of cute thing very yes, early. Yes. Mm. I think once you hit thirteen, that's it. Like. You don't. You're not allowed to like Disney anymore. Mm. You're not allowed to like San Hello Kitty. That's it. Like you have to kind of almost graduate mm. it because you need to be tough to make it mm. in the German version. You got to be a bit tough and strong. But uh, it, it's acceptable in Japan to like what you like. It's encouraged. I yeah. Mm. I was very surprised that I saw like a mom who still was allowed to openly like Tigger. And I'm like, <laughs> wow. In Germany, no mom would off- openly say that she likes Tigger. But really? it's it's okay here, and it's actually okay in the UK too, partly as well. So just Germany, if you're a bit little, a bit not, you're not so much fun. In Germany, in the UK, I, I saw a mum as well who liked Disney without oh, right. having to hide it. In Germany, we have to graduate and be proper members of the society and be serious, do our taxes. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, Susan. Hi. Nande kawaii bunka wa kaiga ni ninki daro. Why is? Sorry, why please. do you think kawaii culture is popular? I think the phrase kawaii itself is already a uh, another like it's like a brand within brand, itself, yeah. isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's uh, well. Firstly, no one can do it like the Japanese. There's that, and I think even if you tried to do it, <clears throat> if you tried, I'm sorry, <clears throat> if you tried to be kawaii in the Japanese sense of the word in the Western world, it just wouldn't work because culturally we don't structure life in the same way that japan does mm-hmm. so for, okay so i had this conversation with a british girl mm-hmm. who was okay. telling on. me saying me yeah you know this thing sometimes they have pop-up maid cafes like a convention oh, yeah 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 but you don't always but she was like them. but there's no permanent maid cafes mm-hmm. you don't in the uk customers for that, and one of the things she said was i think the the customers the boys just would refuse to behave themselves they'd be you know grabbing the girls and whatnot. Oh. Mm. She thought in the UK that would be the case. So if, therefore, the whole May Cafe thing won't work at the premise, at a premise level, it falls apart because the girls are going to get harassed, so you can't do it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Whereas Japan lives under such a strict culture of 
these are the rules and mm. they will be obeyed no matter what. Otherwise, you're an absolute delinquent. Mm-hmm. That's why things like this are possible. Oh. Mm, to be honest, um, I think it might be a little bit more like the cat cafe culture okay. in a way that it is a new concept that you pay more for staying there longer or you pay more for different things that look cuter and stuff. Mm. I think coming from Germany, at least, we have that kind of like no frill and culture, which yeah, means just okay. like you're not going to pay more if it has a cat face on mm. because... It just has a cat face on. It's not practical. Mm. It doesn't make it more tasty. Mm. It has it has to like very grown up reasons why people don't spend extra money on cute stuff because mm. you have to grow out of it. So it makes sense that um, you know some places in the world are able to keep a cat cafe mm. because there are enough customers who regularly will go because mm. cats. I mean, you know, can't really graduate from liking cats. They're cute, but. Maids might be more of those things that you know your friends might judge you if you go there. You might not always be able to go. You can maybe only go once or twice because it's kind of expensive. I think that is a lot of other reasons that might tie into that. And the Japanese celebrate youth with remarkable vigor. Oh, okay. Yeah, Whereas everyone here wants to grow up. Sorry, everyone oh, that's true. Wants to grow up. Good point. This is very academic. What kind of idol do you want to be? That's a palate cleanser. Yeah. Right, cool. so bring us a little bit of light, lightheartedness. Uh, with my smile, I want to make everyone happy. Aww. Aww. We're already happy with your smile. We already love your smile. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Murray. What kind of idol do you want to be? Um, I want to be an idol who, when people see me, they can like whatever they like. Um, mm. Well, I experience a lot of different cultures, and um, well, some environment they don't they didn't allow me to love what I love mm-hmm. and what love or be me mm-hmm. be myself. So I want uh, just seeing me. I want them to feel like they can be yourself and they can do whatever they want to do. And yeah. So you're an individual empowerment idol. <laughs> yeah, wow. something like that. I must say, like, um, when we met, we met um, earlier in, in the room on the other side of the mm-hmm. glass. And I've, what I found really nice and refreshing was that you were very direct. Because I'm not used to that in Japan. No, so yeah. I'm like, oh, yes. But direct, what did I say? <laughs> yeah, like you, you were asking very direct questions. Like, why is it like that? Why do you do this? Oh. Why do you do that? And I'm like, oh, that's refreshing. It's nice to have that. I didn't realize that. that. <laughs> yeah, because you, you think, you, you speak what you think, which is, I think, a good thing. And I hope you can keep that, yeah. you know, with you and spread that, you know, be who you are, always be inquisitive. Mm. Don't be shy to ask questions, that kind of stuff. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of idol are you, Lady Beard? World dominating idol. Hey, hey, Baby Beard, coming at you, ladies and gentlemen. 2023, we're coming there for the 2024. We're coming back for more. 2025, we're keeping this thing alive. 2026, pick up a bundle of sticks. 2027, the only thing that rhymes is heaven. 2028. How long can I keep this going for, mate? Hey, 2029! We're running out of time! 2030! I'm old by then. Uh, world dominating <laughs> idol. Hey, Wait, listen. Mimi, die job. Are your ears okay? Is it just me? 2020. Four. 2030 that to the Takuna. Suddenly reached the level. Well, nah. <laughs> Any kind of cool things happening coming up for you guys? Coming to Thailand, ladies and gentlemen. Woo-hoo! Bangkok, Thailand! On a date that I can't remember. October 20, Bangkok, Woo-hoo! Thailand, at an event named Wonder Fest Bangkok with Baby Beard are coming at you. We'll see you from the stage. We'll see you from the aeroplane. We'll see you left, right, up, down, any other direction you can think of we're coming to a myriad of other places very soon as well but we're not allowed to tell you what they are yet because they told us we're not allowed to tell you what they are yet so just stay hey go and pay attention to our social media it's vitally important
important so that you know when we are coming to a place near you. It's I've said it a billion times on the podcast, but it's at babybeard underscore Japan. And now let's ask the girls for their individual truth of please. I was going to ask that. Since you girls are here, please promote your social media. How can we find both of you ah. online? Well, what's my social <laughs> media? This is what I said as well. Twitter at S-U-Z underbar underbar U-Z-U. Yes. Oh. Two underbars at the middle. Uh, Saigo ni mo mo hito sa underbar. Do I? No. Oh no. Oh sorry. Okay. Sars underbar underbar uzu. Okay. Good job, Sars. Ah. Hina. Hina. Good choice. Instagram account at S-U-Z-U dot S-U-Z-Y-U. S-U-Z what? Hang on. Suzu dot suzu. Yeah. Okay. That's a fancy account name. Thank you. Pun, it's fancy. Fancy account name. Oh, I see. Yeah, Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Kawaii Susina. So this Instagram is very good. She's working very hard yeah. on Instagram. It's good. very good. Yeah. Just check it out. <laughs> and Marty, you. what's yours? Okay, my Twitter account is M A H R I Mari. M I R A C L E Miracle seven one one. Okay. Uh, Mary Miracle. <coughs> Mary Miracle 711. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the lovely. Instagram is a lot easier. It's M A R I M O dot 711. Mary Mo dot 711. All right. right. Now that you all said that, it's time for this. Yes, here no! we go. It's time for this. We Let's made get German. The socials and the promotions. Lass mich ein bisschen sauer dinger dessen, meine okay. Freundinnen. Hier gehen wir. Es geht. Cut, cut. Es geht. Hier essen wir deine hübsche. Um, what's the word for sweet? Yeah, uh, center shot. Zsa, zsa, dinger. Kaugummi. Kaugummi. That's Japanese. Let's eat the thing of a Anyway, so I'm gonna go by by color. <laughs> so green color because Thank that's you. for you, Suzu. And then blue color, that's Thank for you, you, Marty. And then I don't have pink, but I have purple, so Close you enough. get the skulls. Thank it's very you. I got the all skulls. Hell yeah. Uh, and there's, I guess there's a Goats. red one, so I guess that works too. Okay, good. So yeah, well, you're wearing red today, so that's very that nice. Works. That works okay, there we okay, go. Good. This is excellent. All right, Thank the, you, the Kathy. The goal behind this is the first 30 seconds are the center worst. Shock. Okay, hands. So okay. We should all eat it on one, two, three. Just, it's a okay. center shock skull, ladies and gentlemen. You, ideally, once you can't bear it, mm. once you're like, I'm more, more moody. moody. Then you can chew it, but then you tap the table twice. Hi. Tap the table for us, you tap so, out. Yeah, you tap out. Okay. okay. We're going to all go at the Let's same time? Let's see who can do is this. Is it that bad? Yeah. We'll see. Like, is it that it used to be. I'm not sure how it is now. I haven't bought them recently. All right, Straight you ready? from Germany. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh god. How are you not even pulling the fresh film? Oh! Ah! This is hideous! It's getting worse. It doesn't that work. Mm hmm. We're used, oh, I'm dumb. We're used to with the umeboshi. I feel got wow. Mm. Ugh. You're both still fine? Ugh. Hmm. It's you didn't like even pull umeboshi. a fish. <laughs> <laughs> umeboshi. Like sour plum? Mm. Wow. <laughs> they eat these for kicks. Wow. Come on. Very delicious. Yeah. Delicious. It's sour yes. than I thought. Mm. Your German wow. candies of destruction had no effect on the locals. Apparently. Only, wow. only, <laughs> only <laughs> we of European descent were destroyed <laughs> by your own. We're the wusses. <laughs> we're the wusses. Okay. Congratulations. You girls are the winners. Mm. Okay. Good job. Well, as as winners, you get more candy here. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Split between you two. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming onto the podcast. Thank you, girls, for coming onto the it's podcast. It's amazing to have you here. Yeah, it's excellent to have you here. Now. Thanks for taking the challenge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And we're excited to see you tour around the world from mm-hmm. here on. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm. All right. All Thank right. you, everybody, for paying attention to yet another awe oh, inspiring edition of Cat with Bits. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.